Hello Pisces, welcome to a love reading all about how your person is thinking or feeling about you. Uh, as always, this is meant to be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Pisces 100%. Just take what resonates for you, what applies to your situation. For Pisces, it's angels, guys. What messages do you have for Pisces in love? So this deck that I'm shuffling, this has uprights and reverse, and my clarifier deck is all upright. And that should give us... Um, a very general clear message okay so let's just get into it all right so what is going on in your connection at this time okay the hangman reverse and the two of wands reverse interesting okay what do we need to know about this challenges insight page of Pentacles reverse five of swords okay how do you feel about this person seven of wands reverse seven of cups reverse interesting it, I got a weird message it's like you're no longer confused by this person I'm not sure why though <laughs> we'll have to clarify and see how do they feel about you the hermit reverse Virgo energy and the seven of Pentacles reverse interesting I'm getting so many reversals here I have a lot okay um, and then where is this all headed Three of Wands, Ace of Swords, Reverse. What is going on? Okay, it's almost like you're waiting for clarity, waiting for confirmation, waiting for communication. What do we need to know? Any hidden factors about this? Five of Pentacles, Reverse. Three of Pentacles, Reverse. So many reversals. And I literally just split the deck in half. So interesting. There's a reason for that. So we'll we'll find out more. Let me see if I can move my. Okay, I think that works. Okay. And then why is all of this happening? Ten of Swords reverse. So there's something happening here where someone's overcoming betrayal and ending, maybe forgiving and moving on. Um, healing from something that was very difficult um, we'll see what that's all about this is I feel gonna be one of those readings that's very specific but we'll see let's clarify spirits angels back messages guidance please for Pisces regarding the need to know I need to know Let's start with this Ten of Swords reverse. This is why everything is happening. Why, what can you tell me about this Ten of Swords reverse? What can you tell me about this Ten of Swords reverse? Eight of Swords reverse. What can you tell me about this Ten of Swords reverse? Why is the Ten of Swords reverse? Two of Wands. Two of Wands is reversed over here in what's going on right now. So I feel like um, someone made a choice. Someone made a choice and there's the Ten of Swords, exactly. One of you, and I say one of you because this is what's going on in your connection, Pisces. So both of you are here. Uh, one of you made a choice. I feel like you were scared to make this choice for the longest time or fearful of what would happen, but you made this choice and it ended something. And I feel like now someone that was stuck is no longer stuck. Someone that was this Eight of Swords is no longer this Eight of Swords. And that's kind of caused a chain reaction here. So let's get into this. Whoa. What? What is this? Hold on. It's way too many cards. Okay. So let's find out about this Hangman uh, Reverse first. Why is the Hangman Reverse? The lovers, I tell you, someone made a choice. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini energy with the lovers. Tell me about the Two of Wands reverse. Ten of, my deck is going crazy, okay. Ten of Pentacles and Knight of Swords. Someone made a choice and communicated it. And I feel like this choice was either about a long-term commitment, a marriage, or something like that. Um... I 
I feel like this choice led to conflict because I have here the Five of Swords and the Page of Pentacles reversed. So it could have even led to financial difficulty. There's deception here or just someone that's, there's conflict. Someone's not playing, is playing dirty basically. So let's get some insight. And this down here, this position with the Page of Pentacles reversed and the Five of Swords is basically insight or challenges to what's going on. So they're, they're uh, related. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles reversed with the Five of Swords. Why is the Page of Pentacles reversed with the Five of Swords? Five of Pentacles. Yeah, this is all related. I'm going to pick these two up. Ace of Wands and the Strength card, Leo Energy. I feel like someone is having uh, financial difficulty because of this decision. I wonder, you know, it took a lot of courage to make this, to, to choose this. Um, and I feel it's going to bring back balance, but I'm trying to figure out what this choice is related to. I know it's related to a long-term commitment or something like that, but I want, I want to know more like what this is about. Tell me about the 10 of Pentacles. Because I feel this choice led to an ending. So I, I'm wondering if someone ended a commitment. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. What can you tell me about the Ten of Pentacles? Spirit for Pisces. Queen of Cups. Temperance. There's the hangman. Sagittarius energy here. Someone took a long time to make this decision. I feel like they were stuck somewhere. Um, unsure of what to do or fearful, whatever it was. I feel like it took them some time to make this decision. I feel this decision was made because of love or because of feelings. There were feelings involved here. Now temperance is here, which tells me, once again, this took time, but also balance. Someone was trying to make something work bring back balance, harmony, resolution. I still don't know what's going on. I'm not going to I'm not going to sit here and be like, "Oh, I know exactly what this is about" because I don't see it yet. We'll see what spirit says. The more we clarify, the more we will know. Let's jump into how you are thinking or feeling about each other. Pisces, feel free to um flip this energy or um I don't know why I can't talk today. <laughs> Reverse the roles. Okay, so Spirit, tell me about Pisces and this other person. Tell me about Pisces and the person they are dealing with. Tell me about Pisces. What energy is Pisces bringing to this connection? What energy is Pisces bringing to this connection, Spirit? Moving forward. Movement ending cycles. You're moving forward into a new chapter. Tell me about the person that Pisces is dealing with. Tell me about the person that Pisces is dealing with. What uh, energies are they bringing to this connection? Secret admirer. Poetic justice. Inner voice. Interesting. I feel like your person was the one that... Or this person here which I think is your person because it's in the it's in the them position. <laughs> um, I feel like they want to make something right. Their intuition is probably telling them to do this. And I feel like this person's intuition is very important because their hermit is reversed here. So maybe they were ignoring their inner voice for a long time. I feel like this person has been keeping tabs on you, Pisces, and... I feel like they know you're moving forward. So I'm trying to figure out, like, are you moving forward from this person? Are you making some sort of moves in your own life? Moving careers, moving locations. Um, I see you no longer fighting against something, uh, no longer confused. Maybe you made a final choice here. Tell me about the Seven of Wands reverse with the Seven of Cups reverse. Why is the Seven of Wands reverse the Seven of Cups reverse? Six of Wands. Can you tell me for Pisces? Seven 
Interesting. Nine of Swords at the bottom of the deck, Three of Wands. So what I see here with the Six of Wands, Page of Cups, and Three of Swords, I almost feel like someone's apologizing to you, Pisces. Now that you're ready to move on or make a change in your life, I feel like someone wants to apologize. And I think for some of you, you're not sure what to do about this. Tell me about this Page of Cups. Let me see if I'm right about this. Why is the Page of Cups here? Why is the Page of Cups here? Yeah, Two of Swords. You don't know what to do about this. Confused, undecided. Tell me about the Page of Cups. Why is the Page of Cups here? Yeah, Five of Swords. You might not trust someone's intentions. I feel like this is someone that you already moved on from or this probably ended already in the past. Okay, so why the Seven of Pentacles? By the way, a lot of Sevens here. Um, seven could be significant. Seven weeks, seven months, seven years. Or the month of July. Tell me about the Hermit Reverse with the Seven of Pentacles Reverse. But you know, when I see the, se the Seven of Pentacles Reverse, I think someone um, made a wrong investment. They they Their investment didn't work out. Um, what they put time and energy into did not work out. Um, or they're still waiting impatiently for something to happen. But I feel it's the first one. Tell me about, because someone wasn't listening to their inner voice. They were ignoring advice or ignoring um, the truth. Tell me about the Hermit Reverse with the Seven of Pentacles Reverse. Tell me about the Hermit Reverse with the Seven of Pentacles Reverse. Queen of Pentacles. Queen and King on the board and King and Queen of Cups. Justice at the bottom of the deck, Libra energy. Interesting. This is starting to make sense. I feel like this is a third party situation for a lot of you. There's two couples here or, you know, at least there's like a, a situation where I feel this person invested in the wrong person. This King of Cups. Or it could be this Queen of Pentacles. That doesn't really matter. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles Reverse with the Hermit Reverse. Maybe they thought they were doing the right thing. Yeah, Five of Cups. There's regrets here. And the High Priestess. Yeah, there's regrets because they ignored the signs. They ignored their intuition. This is somebody that chose the wrong person or the wrong thing. They thought they were doing the right thing and it wasn't the right thing to do. I feel like this is someone that ignored or hid their true feelings here with the Ace of Cups. Um, interesting. The plot thickens. <laughs> so where is this headed? Well, I feel like there's someone waiting here with the Three of Wands. And then the Ace of Swords reverse is almost like maybe they're waiting for uh, communication, but it's not coming. So let's see. Tell me about the Three of Wands with the Ace of Swords reverse. Why is the Three of Wands? With the Ace of Swords reverse. Yeah, Four of Swords. Okay, can I get one more for the... Okay, the Hangman again. So yeah, so in the near future, what I see here is I see someone that is kind of waiting. And I feel like, I don't know, this Ace of Swords reverse is very interesting. Tell me about this Ace of Swords reverse. Because the Ace of Swords reverse could be deception it could be a lack of communication or a lack of clarity it could be delayed um, communication or clarity as well so let's see tell me about this ace of swords reverse why is the ace of swords reverse why is the ace of swords reverse why is the ace of swords? ten of wands eight of wands at the bottom of the deck ten of swords after that I feel like someone's keeping something to themselves. Suppressing the truth, suppressing clarity, you know, or like, that's what I'm seeing. Tell me one more, please, for the Ace of Swords reverse. Why is the Ace of Swords reverse? King of Wands, what are these? Yeah, the moon. 
and the four of cups there's the uh, there you are Pisces so I feel like this is someone that's not communicating or there's something that's not being it's is being hidden basically uh, especially with the, the moon and the ten of wands here you know and you know it could be that they're just not being open with this information maybe maybe they're scared of rejection or something but I feel like this is someone that's keeping another person waiting because they're not they're not being open instead they're thinking and planning and reflecting but they're not communicating so let's look at the why this is because this is like the these two energies down here are kind of like the hidden factors or like why something isn't you know what's affecting the final outcome basically so we have the five of pentacles reverse which is a card about recovery but it could also be a, a card about being stuck in this energy and then we have the three of pentacles reverse which for me this could be a third party situation um or something that's not working someone that's not able to work together with another person so let's see can we get some insight please for the five of pentacles reverse and the three of pentacles reverse why is the five of pentacles reverse with the three of pentacles reverse nine of wands and the hermit yeah someone's very guarded we're uh, not able to trust paranoid in this difficult situation I have the devil at the bottom of the deck Capricorn energy ten of cups after that so this could be a, an unhealthy environment in a family or an environment that looks good on the outside but isn't deep down I feel like what's happening here is that someone doesn't trust another person and that other person knows it and so it kind of keeps them holding back and waiting interesting so what I'm getting so far Pisces I feel like this is someone that maybe you already had some sort of ending with and I feel like this person has made a choice that they regret and I feel like for a lot of you this person was in a third party or you have a third party there's a third party situation okay um, and the third party does not have to be another person but I feel like for a lot of you this is another person that kind of is someone's regretting being with because they chose the wrong they invest this is someone that invested in the wrong person and regrets it right and so now they're admiring you in secret and wanting to reach out but they can't they can't reach out because they they think that you don't trust them and they might be right about that tell me one more for this five of pentacles and the three of pentacles reverse again with the ten of cups and there's the four of pentacles someone again is holding back I feel like this is someone that pretends that everything is okay um, this is someone that perhaps is blocked by fear but I feel like what's happening here there's there's it's almost like there's a shift here because I see you moving on or moving forward with your life and I think this person is almost like not doing well because of it or something um, but they should have chosen right if, if you know it's almost like they chose wrong and then they still want to have their cake and eat it too and I don't think that that's really quite fair but this is a very complex situation Pisces so if you want to clear it up in the comments feel free <laughs> I don't think this is going to resonate with everyone um, take what resonates for you what applies to your situation but I think this is a very complex situation because you know this person there's a lack of trust because of what's happened right and there's a lack of action communication and that that's not helping this move forward in any way the only one moving forward I feel is you but the situation is stuck if that makes sense the connection is stuck um, I think that someone wants to change someone wants to change this you know um, maybe they already reached out to you and you were not receptive because I have the Knight of Swords here, you know. But 
I think what happened is that you you read the writing on the wall and you decided to do something about it and now this other person is very scared and I don't know I think you're ready for something new let me know if that's the case in the comments um, it could have been that this person deceived you because I have the five of swords here there could have been cheating here or you know because I feel like something definitely ended and I think the other person doesn't want it to end so that's what I have for you Pisces um, I hope that this mess of a reading made sense <laughs> thank you so much for watching for your like share subscribes um, we're almost at a hundred thousand subscribers and it's super exciting I, I can't believe it um, I hope you enjoyed the reading yeah I'll leave it there thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in another video